Hi Scorpio and welcome to your April monthly predictions reading. I hope you've been well so far Scorpio. The month has already started. By the time that I'm filming your reading it is Monday the 4th of April. So unfortunately water signs were at the end of the list this month which meant that you are going to get your monthly predictions after the month has already begun but there's still a whole month to look at for you so I hope that this reading is still informative. We're going to get straight into your general monthly predictions reading for the month of April. I just have a quick disclaimer for those who are new. This reading is intended for Scorpio Sun Moon Risings or those who have strong Scorpio placements in their charts. If you are not a Scorpio but you're interested in a Scorpio and you're just here checking up on them seeing what their month is going to be like you are welcome to stay as a cross watcher I just need you to know that I'm a very honest reader so if you hear or see something you don't like you have been warned now we're going to start your general prediction in the month of April with a card from this beautiful oracle deck this card will tell us the main theme that you can expect to experience in the month of April we got two there spirit what is the main theme Scorpio can expect to experience in the month of April I'm getting a lot of cards wanting to pop out for you so I hope I can just get one what is the main theme for Scorpio in the month of April spirit oh my gosh okay we have no we got two cards okay we're gonna take them because I feel like you're going through a lot so <laughs> let's just take them both it'll help me as a reader really tune into what's happening for you anyway so we have hostilities number 26 and appreciation the number 15 appreciation is reversed honestly I feel like you're not being recognized you're not being you're not feeling noticed you're not feeling like you're getting the recognition you deserve for the efforts that you are making for some of you you may be trying to get somebody's attention in April I am obviously thinking of love and primarily but I want to say that this could be your efforts in the workplace as well or with a friend group now I'm seeing you trying to be noticed by somebody here and you want to get their attention because you want to foster a closer connection to that situation so if this is a workplace this is you looking for a raise or looking for recognition within your role that will gain you to you know lead to further success further promotion if this is a friendship you just want to be closer to your friend group or to that close friend of yours um, feeling like there's been distance there if this is a romantic interest I feel like they're not giving you the attention that you want or you're feeling underappreciated here um, you're feeling like this person is not acknowledging how much you do for them and you want them to be more reciprocal with the way that you give when it comes to um, the relationship hostilities is you feeling like you need to defend yourself more than anything sometimes this is talking about external um, hostilities and sometimes this is talking about internal hostilities and for you it feels like people are coming at you it doesn't feel like this is you going at yourself and struggling with your own self-image and your own insecurities I do believe this that it could be a secondary result because you feel attacked externally it feels like something's coming for you and you have to defend yourself and you have to examine yourself and check yourself and you're realizing like no I'm good like I'm, I'm not actually I, this isn't warranted this attack is not warranted so let's get some tarot out to have a look at how this will be impacting you week by week now I'll be clarifying each of these tarot cards as well but we want to just get all the cards from this deck out so week one of April what is happening for Scorpio in that first week of April spirit what is happening for Scorpio in that first week of April what is happening for Scorpio in that first week of April thank you we've got a lot of cards that wanted to come out but we've got the Knight of Wands in the reverse for the first week of April what is happening in the second week of April for Scorpio please spirit what is happening in the second week we have the four of wands in the reverse position what is happening in the third week of April for Scorpio in that third week we have your appreciation energy the nine of pentacles and lastly the fourth week of April hello we have the two of swords and the two of swords is in the upright position okay 
Let's see what the back of the deck is telling us at this point. Hermit reversed. Wow, this is this is a almost a um, collective energy at this point. Hermit reversed is a feeling of not paying attention to your gut feeling. Um, it's often us doing things that we know we shouldn't do and feeling like we're betraying our, our wisdom or our inner guidance by taking action in an immature way or in a way where we feel like we may be betraying ourselves a little bit. I feel like some of you are craving knowledge though. I don't see that as, as you meaning to do these things, but you're, you're seeking knowledge. You may be asking advice from people who are under equipped to tell you, you know, the advice. I see you kind of reaching out into the dark and wanting advice from people and feeling a little bit disappointed by the information that you're getting and, and feeling set back by the sources that you're reaching out to. It's almost like you're trying to find the answers to something this month. And I see that that could be an enigma that really plagues your mind. Even if you push it to your subconscious, you're going to be dreaming about it. Even if you manage to kind of distract yourself, it's going to kind of synchronicities are going to show them themselves to you and make you think about it again there's something going on with you that you're trying to understand and you're not getting the information you want so you're trying to distract yourself from it but it's coming back as well so let's see how that plays out in your week so I want to start with week one over here with the knight of wands in the reverse position it feels like you're frustrated here in that first week of April either something's not going the way that you expected it to or you're not having the freedoms that you want in that week you may be kind of wanting wanting to kind of travel or to do something and it feels like it's not happening happening as you had planned um, kind of like somebody's cutting you down a peg there like you were expecting to do something and then all of a sudden you've got to work an extra day and it's like oh gosh there's an uncertainty here over what you're able to do and I feel like it's maybe linked to that week but I also feel like it's linked to the end of the month with this uncertainty at the end so I feel like with the Knight of Wands, you may be being forced in this first week of April to take some sort of clear, serious action um, where you'd prefer there to be more flexibility, you'd prefer there to be more freedom, you'd prefer there to be a kind of more room to grow and to explore and instead it feels structured and forced almost. It feels like your world in the first week of April has you taking on a serious demeanor that you're either not accustomed to or that you're really not comfortable with. Um, what is happening here with the Knight of Wands, the death card reverse, Scorpio, yeah. It feels like someone's forcing you to do something here or a situation is forcing you to do something and you'd rather just go with the flow or let things happen naturally. Death card reversed is someone putting you between a rock and a hard place, forcing you to take matters into your own hands where you wish you could have been kind of just more in your element of, of letting things transform before you and, and picking up the responsibility when necessary. Whereas it feels like you are having to make some changes here to your approach um, from the beginning and kind of forcing a transformative effect for yourself here. You're forcing an ending and potentially forcing a new beginning and you're not comfortable with the amount of control you have and which, how much you are needing to do this. You'd rather do it with something else in hand like, or um, with the uh, more certainty of what the outcome will be because the fact that there hasn't even been an ending leads there to be more concern over well, will there be a new beginning there just seems to be very a lot of concerns over how this is going to play out and you feel forced to take action here in the first week what is this related towards for scorpio spirit huh it has to do with your heart sweets the three of cups it has to do with a relationship not necessarily romance some of you this is friends with the three of cups but this is definitely about taking things to a next level making things more serious and kind of needing to bring a more serious edge to a relationship um this could be siblings for some of you as well, but it feels like this is a relationship. I mean, sure, it could be a work relationship if you have a very close um, relationship that's not necessarily all business with your work, um, but it's definitely a relationship here in the first week that's taking priority in your reading. Now, in the second week of April, 
I see with the Twin Flames card here, this Four of Wands card in the reverse, that you are going to experience disruptions to your routine, to your home life. Um, for some of you, this is positive. This is you getting to move or, or clean out your house and just make room and make space in your, in your physical world, in your energy for new things to happen. You may be acquiring a new set of furniture, for example, so you're needing to clear out the house and get rid of, make space for this. Um, but for others of you, this is instability that you don't want to deal with. You're a bit nervous about this change when it's that close to home there's going to be mixed feelings there's going to be a bit of stress there's going to be this oh what if I don't like it or what if I'm not ready for it but I feel the goal here is to make room for something new to come into your life in the second week of April so you're going to kind of put your um, concerns on the back burner and just deal with this change in your immediate world. What is happening in that second week for Scorpio spirit with the four of wands reversed? It doesn't feel like a relationship, but you are seemingly needing to defend yourself. And, and so I wouldn't be surprised if this has to do with a relationship as well. What is going on with that four of wands? Yeah, it's a rebirth situation. So it feels like false plans, canceled plans or false starts that are leading you to be a bit more creative over how you invest your energy. Um, I'm picking up on another message here now, Scorpio, but I don't think this is exclusive to week two. I think this is an ongoing thing for you. I'm seeing with the four of wands now and this ace of wands reverse that something is definitely not going according to plan. You're pursuing something here and you're needing to kind of fight for it to be a more stable part of your life. And it feels like with the four of wands reversed, you're kind of needing to make some allowances here. You're going out of your element. You don't feel comfortable with some of the sacrifices or um, the flexible sort of positions you're putting yourself in for this. But with the Ace of Wands reversed, it feels like a very attractive situation for you. And the goal here is to rekindle something, to reignite a fire that you know is going to be worth it because you've seen it before and the potential was there, but it just didn't ground itself right the first time. So this is very much a rebirth. This is another opportunity to do that, but it's kind of like you have to make allowances for it in order to have room for it in your life. It's like you need to kind of say, yes, I want that. Absolutely. Give me the ace of wands, but I have to get rid of something first to make room for you because I've, I'm, my life right now is a bit too stagnant, stuck and, and s stable. Like I need to make some adjustments. I need to move this around or I need to make myself available on Wednesday night. I need to um, switch careers if this is a new job and um, opportunity. You need to kind of be flexible here and you need to make room for this to enter your life before it can ground itself. So in the third week, we have this nine of pentacles and how this transitions is you feel very accomplished. You feel safe. There's a feeling of security here with the nine of pentacles. So whatever you've done here, whatever you've kind of, whatever seriousness you've embraced, despite feeling uncomfortable with the level of uncertainty, despite feeling like you don't know how this is going to play out, despite feeling like you needed to really kind of restructure your energy and make efforts and room for things that you didn't previously have room for. I see you feeling more secure in where you stand by the third week of April. In that third week, there is strong emphasis on recognition, appreciation, and your physical vessel. I don't know if this is specifically pertaining to your workout or your diet, but I see you focusing on how you see yourself, feeling more secure in yourself, and getting complimented because of that. I see with the nine of pentacles that the focus really seems to be on how you see yourself and um, whether others are appreciating you for what you are as well. So this is where you may be feeling annoyed if somebody isn't giving you the attention or the affection that you want because you think you're a whole damn meal here, not just a snack. You're like, you know what? I worked really hard to be this confident and secure in my own skin and I put on my best outfit and I made sure I stood, <laughs> took you to the best vineyard in the whole state. <laughs> 
<laughs> and you barely notice this delicious crum delicious meal in front of you like how dare you so if people aren't giving you the attention or the recognition for the effort that you've put in that you deserve then I do see you questioning why and getting a bit twisted over how the situation could play out um, your mind is kind of going to betray you there because the reality of the situation is you're doing very well for yourself, but your mind is telling you like, what if this, what if that, why didn't they do this? Why didn't this happen? Um, I did everything I could on my final exam and I still only got to be like, how did that happen and blah, blah, blah. The reality of the situation is your hard work is paying off, but it is leading to a long-term success. So if you're not seeing the results that you desire immediately, then with that nine of swords, you're going to have to reconcile your intrusive thinking and settle with the realization that this is going to take time. I think with the nine of swords, you're gaining an epiphany about your physical world and your routine as well. There seems to be this leveling up that you're going through Scorpio and you're realizing things about yourself and your body and what makes you feel confident that you didn't know before. It feels like your material world, you're, you're getting a feeling of like, yeah, I got this. Um, and you're really loving on yourself, which is causing you to also notice and pay attention to people who don't give you that love that you need or that you deserve. And I want to say in, in a helpful way, you are absolutely noticing people who do light you up, gas you up and make you feel good about yourself. Um, I believe with the Nine of Swords, you are still worried about how something is going to play out in the long term, but I feel like this is just you overthinking things. I don't think it's warranted because you're seeing some green flags here of positivity, and yet it's almost like beneath that facade, there is still insecurity. It's so interesting. What's happening here in the third week for Scorpio? Is there anything else I've missed, Spirit? It's a good thing for me to highlight because that's something that you can be aware of, I guess, by the third week. We have the Four of Pentacles. You're afraid to lose what you've worked so hard to gain, even if it's just a fraction of the recognition that you want in terms of the long term um, or in terms of who notices you, but you're afraid to lose what you've worked so hard for here. So you're trying to think of how to make it last longer. You're trying to think of how to make sure you have more of it. Um, you're trying to make sure that whatever you invest in next is going to be worth your time, your efforts and your energy. And you're trying to make sure that you don't lose everything that you've worked so hard for here with that nine of pentacles. So that's what you're really thinking about. Yes, there's a moment of feeling good about yourself, but your mind is also highlighting like this is temporary. What if it fades quicker than it you know, took to get here? So that's an interesting point of reflection there. Is there, a, well, we'll get advice for you at the end, Scorpio. Let's look at your fourth week here with the Two of Swords. Now, this is where you need to make a decision. And I feel like this has to do with everything that you've been working on this whole month, to be honest with you, starting from that first week with this idea of needing to be more sort of um, assertive and um, serious and to kind of play a strong hand in how things eventuate by almost forcing something to happen before you feel comfortable with it and then needing to be flexible with your home situation or with your with your energy to a cater for opportunities that you don't want to miss out on and to ensure that you're securing something that you know is very promising and exciting for you and then realizing that you made the right choices and feeling confident about where you're headed but unsure of how long you can have this security in your life with this two of swords here it feels like you end the week of uh, the month of april which will also be the first week of of may feeling uncertain about how something is going to play out and it's because there is information here that feels hidden from you there are still unknown variables causing confusion and uncertainty and you have information that you do know that you need to weigh up in your mind do i do this based on what i know or do i do that based on what i know oh my gosh sorry that really made my heart stop that was my alarm oh my gosh <laughs> Anyway, sorry for that interruption. 
wowzers, that timing. Um, you really have to consider like the information you have and what to do based on what you know, because yes, there are unknown variables, but that's not within your realm of control. So what can you do based on what you know? Can I get some more information about this fourth week of April for Scorpio, please, Spirit? What's happening here in that fourth week? Oh, hello. We have the Sun card. Spirit is saying at the end of the day, make sure you are happy, you are healthy, and you've done what you need to do to feel confident that you've tried your hardest for yourself. This is very much a selfish decision. You've got to take care of yourself. You can't consider what it's going to be or mean for other people because at the end of the day it's just you yourself and you <laughs> so say me myself and i um but you yourself and you so really this is coming down to doing what is best for you with this decision and what makes you happy what's going to make sure that you have that security that you need what makes sure that you are being recognized that you can do this and i think with hostilities here this is about overcoming that internal feeling as well for you, that internal doubt, that internal fear, that internal anxiety for some of you, those internal thoughts, um, so that you can understand what you deserve and, and take steps towards what you deserve and what is making you happy as well. I feel, look at this, bottom deck is the hermit again. So you got that twice in both of my tarot decks. So you are wise enough, sweets. You have enough experience to do this. You know what you need to do, but you're doubting your abilities. Seek advice from people who have done what you want. Don't get advice from people who live lives that you wouldn't even want to live in your wild dreams pay attention to where you're seeking information from because that is going to impact how you see the situation playing out your point of reference is everything in this life um, your scope of awareness your cone of awareness is everything that's how we create through our mind's eyes so ensure that you're gathering information from reliable sources and from sources that you actually aspire to be like and ensure with the hermit reverse that you're not cutting yourself short in what you already know through your own wisdom, through your own experience, through your own observations. Let's get some closing advice for you, Scorpio. What is the best advice you can offer Scorpio for the month of April? My water signs are being very long readings today. <laughs> We have cleansing as your final card. So cleansing in this deck is the lemon card, also associated with the water element. We have the number 25 and Gemini. So, hang on a second. Really? It is. That's definitely water. Spirit's telling me that could be um, air, but I don't think it is. It's definitely water. Gemini is confusing me. There is a th feeling here of um, thinking clearly. And I think with Gemini being here, yes, you're going to toss and turn because you are caught between a decision here, left or right, a rock in a hard place. And you're struggling to feel like things are in your control, even though the situation is forcing you to take control. This is with Lemon. I feel like your advice is to try your best, to try your hardest, to really assert yourself. And at the end of the day, when you're in that position of feeling like you need to kind of overcome challenges, do say and act in a way where you will not regret what you've done. You will be able to go to sleep at night feeling like you did everything that you could, feeling like you tried your hardest, Feeling like, well, yes, there's a lot out of my control, but at least I took control of what I can do and I made sure that I did what I can do and what is within my control. So I have no regrets. There's a feeling here of acting from a place of um, making sure that you have no regrets because your mind is going to really highlight towards the end of the month what you could have, would have, should have done when you had the chance if you don't do these things. And I think with cleansing here, there is a transformation going on within your world, but it is very much at your own hands. You could make this transformation as minor or as major as you want. There is a lot of emphasis here on making room in your life. And this is from the space of bringing more positive energy into your world as well with cleansing here. The idea of cleansing is to kind of clear your energy, 
but we're not clearing the bad to make more room for the bad. We're clearing the stagnant, the stuck, the stale, the negative to make room for positive, to make room for the things that help us grow or the things that bring us joy. So this is a positive shift in your energy and it really comes down to how much you want to change and how much you want this to happen because there is unfortunately a lot in your hands here which is part of the stress but also part of the beauty is that this can be as transformative as exciting as different as out of your comfort zone as you're willing to go because the stakes here in terms of how much you can gain are pretty high. Um, it's not that you will lose a lot though, it's more that you may just have to settle with this idea of I guess you'll never know if you choose not to do anything and that is what is really going to keep you up at night. What What if I you know, did this? What if I did that? I wish I would have known, oh gosh, I'm going to have to live with this for the rest of my life. So that's your advice, Scorpio, for the month of April. I hope this is helpful. I believe there's still a lot of information here that you can use for the month of April, even though you're getting your reading a little bit later than the other signs. It's been a pleasure to read for you. I feel like this is an exciting month ahead for you. I wish you a prosperous, abundant, overall just wonderful growth inspired month please look after your beautiful self you may have messages in the other aspects of your astrological natal chart otherwise remember it's a general reading take what resonates do not let the rest take from you and i shall connect with you in another video bye